Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. Uh, I've got some different things breaking going on there. How Turner also reporting Russia has launched uh, cruise missiles into Ukraine. According to Al Turner, they've actually launched them against uh, a barrage of targets, including that of power plants for the first time. Uh, targeting those inside of Ukraine and I uh, got some footage there of that for you going to share some of that with you this here is some of that footage there's two cruise missiles there flying overhead uh, in Ukraine uh, we've got other footage as well coming out right now uh, I'll try to share some of this here with you You got American voices though being heard here in this video, which uh, doesn't surprise me a bit in the world. So that lets you know the U.S. military there is on the ground in Syria, or at least somebody's on the ground that can speak some English there. Uh, let's just see if we've got anything else going on there now. Uh, here we go, right here. More footage there in Ukraine. Russia shelling the power plant with missiles. Several regions of Ukraine partially lost water and light for a while in a country of, uh, well, they say murderers and liars. See, we've got to be able to change the settings. I don't know how to do that at this particular moment. Let's just put view. Sorry, it doesn't make any sense there at all. But uh, but like I said, we do have uh, the missiles. You got this video here being fired there off of Crimea coast there. Cruise missiles going up. Quite a few of them. They actually are saying that they were being fired in, from all directions, uh, from um, different directions there uh, into Ukraine there. Now this kind of is interesting because um, it actually comes on the heels of like this uh, article here, Putin and Macron discussed the situation in Ukraine of the ZNPP security issues. That's talking about the, uh, the plant, the uh, nuclear power plant that Russia has control of, uh, Zifra Zai nuclear power plant. Uh, and Putin and the French President Emmanuel Macron during a telephone conversation held a detailed and frank exchange of the views on the situation in Ukraine with the emphasis on ensuring the security of the nuclear power plant. Uh, the Russian side drew attention to the regular Ukrainian attacks on the uh, nuclear facilities, including the storage of the radioactive waste, which is fraught with catastrophic consequences. The President of Russia informed about the measures taken by Russia's specialists to ensure the physical protection of the plant and stress the need to influence Kiev's authorities in order to uh, to the stations were immediately terminated. Uh, the statement reads there. The whole thing comes down to this here. Uh, this happened right on the heels of that particular meeting there between Macron and President Putin. And I guess it doesn't look like Macron was very successful uh, in so much that Russia ends up having to launch uh, attacks on other power plants inside of Ukraine. I guess that's to get the message across. If you want to play around with power plants, we can shut you down and put you in a very awkward position as a result of that. Uh, another news going on, uh, Israel's ambassador to Rabat in Morocco uh, is under fire for sexual harassment charges against Moroccan women. Uh, you hear that exactly right. In fact, the Israelis have called their ambassador back to Israel as the investigation is ongoing 
and uh, uh, they, the Palestinians that are living in Morocco were protesting uh, the, the particular issue with this uh, latest uh, scandal there with the Israeli ambassador to, the Mor to Morocco. Uh, it says here that dozens of pro-Palestinian demonstrators protested outside Morocco's parliament Friday against the kingdom's normalization of ties with Israel after the Jewish state recalled its top envoy from Rabat amid a probe of AFP correspondence said there. Uh, those of you that may not know, back in the year 2000, Morocco did cut ties during the Intifada with Israel. Didn't reestablish those ties until 2022, just recently, and that was uh, after uh, the United Arab Emirates and one other country, I think it was Bahrain, that normalized ties with Israel, and then they got involved with that as well and jumped on board uh, that train there. But uh, Govern, who is the ambassador to uh, Morocco, he's the one that has come under fire for this there, and it is causing a whirlwind of uh, situation over there in inside both Israel and Morocco. Also, a very sad story here, and I think this was sent to me by uh, Rosa. I really appreciate it, sis. U.S. Army recommends struggling soldiers to apply for food stamps. Yeah, believe it or not, U.S. Army is recommending their soldiers that are struggling to apply for food stamps. It says the U.S. Army is now recommending their soldiers to apply for the SNAP food stamps to handle the devastating impact that the Biden and Democrats are having on the economy. It says here in the statement here, with inflation affecting everything from gas prices to groceries to rent, some soldiers and their families are finding it harder to get by on the budgets they've set and used before. The guidance written by Sergeant Major of the Army uh, Michael A. Grinston reads, soldiers of all ranks can seek guidance, assistance, advice through the Army's financial readiness program. The guidance points soldiers to the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program and links them to the Federal Welfare Program's website. Yeah, you got that right. Now the Army, because the economy and things are getting so bad, are having to look to federal government assistance of food stamps to be able to survive. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Going to be posting later tonight a uh, video over on our Patreon channel. Going to be discussing the earthquakes or, or the volcanoes that are actually uh, becoming very active there. Uh, and I'm going to be talking about that mainly in light of the fact that we had uh, shared this information with you about uh, the Indonesian area there, New Zealand. They're anticipating a magnitude mega quake uh, in the very near future. In fact, actually, this was the year they were going there anticipating that. And so now we're starting to see the activity that is really flaring up in that region. Uh, and the kind of interesting, they're showing Australia. Uh, in this and we're going to kind of play some of that for you there on our on our patreon channel and kind of update you on that information there I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live